Today we're talking about human design relationships and a breakthrough that I recently had with my beautiful partner Kelly. Please excuse the hair. I woke up at 3.30 a.m. this morning and uh, what is it now, 7.30 a.m. I'm still a little bit jet lagged. I'm in Dallas, Texas. Arrived a few days ago from Melbourne, Australia. And I'm in the US for the next three or four months. So if you're here, if you see this video, I'll be in Texas, I'll be in Colorado, I'll be in Boston area, Massachusetts, uh, Vermont, New York, a few places. So if you're around, let me know. So today we're talking about human design and specifically relationships within human design. I'm a projector and my partner, Kelly, she's a generator. If you don't know this system of human design, I've got a couple of videos on it, you can go check them out. Uh, it's a profound system that enables you to live your life with less resistance, little resistance, deconditioned out of the ways that we've been taught to live and actually live in accordance with the way you're supposed to live. It's an amazing, amazing system. So I'm a projector, my partner's a generator. So what happened yesterday, we actually had a profound breakthrough because we discovered that recently it's been like a tug of war. Subconsciously, it's a very beautiful relationship. We both love it. Yet when we had a breakthrough, we realized what we were actually holding on to and then what we've actually created, the space that we've recently discovered within our relationship and moved into through this breakthrough. And human design plays a, a role in this specific breakthrough, which I'll be sharing with you. So firstly, as a projector myself, I need to be invited into relationships. So I just want to share that our relationship began via Kelly inviting me into a relationship, which is beautiful because it means that she sees me, sees me uniquely on a deep level. She recognizes me and then she invited me into the relationship. And this means that our relationship, especially as a projector, has started off on the right note, on the right foot. So we're heading in the right direction. If I was actually going to approach Kelly and ask her out straight away, this would not be in accordance with the way I should be living. And it means that our relationship could have started off on the wrong foot. It was subtle invitations that she gave me. We were in Bali. The first one we were dancing and she looked at me very intensely for at least 10 seconds. And I was like, whoa, okay. I looked away, looked back and she was still looking at me. And this was an invitation, a direct invitation for me to actually go over there and dance. And then we we're together for a couple of days and then she said, do you think this relationship can actually be more than just a Bali fling? Because I was only in Bali for a very short amount of time. So she actually opened up the possibility for this relationship to continue. And I said, possibly, absolutely, I think it could be. I have to go back to Melbourne, but you know, I don't see why we couldn't continue. So our relationship started off in the right way via the human design system. Then I want to talk about how this breakthrough specifically what transpired. So what happened was when we get into a maybe a stressful situation or something's going on or something happening whether it's financially or whether it's career or whether it's relationship, whatever it is, I go into more of a logical mode. I go into a more of a driven mode. I go to, okay, well, what are we going to do about it? How are we going to do that? Let's make a plan. And it can come through intuitively, but there's it's about taking action. Kelly is not interested in that. She's interested in love, feeling loved, feeling love. And then from that space, she's able to think with very sharp clarity. She's able to act through inspiration. 
and we actually had, we had this realization we're like wow i've been trying to always say like what are we going to do and you've been trying to just wanting love wanting love and we're pulling it's like a tug of war no one's willing to give up their side and then knowing about human design it was a very interesting discovery because our charts actually directly represent what was playing out in reality so i've got the root center connected to the spleen. I've only got two defined centers. Mm. Sorry, that mm. my alarm's going off to uh to wake up at seven fifty. I woke up at three thirty, so the uh, the alarm's four and a half hours late. <laughs> so I've got the root center and the spleen center, and this is all on the projector. And I've only got one channel, and this is the channel of transformation. And this channel is about being driven. And the root center is about also acting, pressure. There's some pressure, and then from that pressure, there's action. It's also the adrenal glands, fight or flight. So that's what I naturally drop into, my human design, my way of acting within this world, within this reality. Whereas Kelly's, She is a generator, so her sacral center is obviously defined, and then it goes connected to the G center. And this is interesting because the the G center is about direction and love. So for her, she can channel her life force through direction and love, and love is a major part of what she channels her life force into. So unless she can channel her life force, her energy into love by giving and receiving love, she doesn't see a point. Whereas for me, love's come second. I'm here to, I feel that pressure and then I can take action. And then in that action, when I'm feeling satisfied, accomplished, then dropping into love is a beautiful thing. So we do things differently, reversing, reversal. But this hasn't worked in the past because I've been trying to do one thing, Kelly's been trying to do another. So through realizing this, we deeply realize what the other person needs in those moments. Kelly's needing love. And if I can provide love just through a little compliment, through a little reminder, through something slightly romantic, whatever it is, she lights up, she's ready to go. And then she understands now for me, it's very important for her to also share about what she wants to do from this situation, what she going to do moving forward. And this really takes the pressure off me. And then I'm more likely to be there loving. So it's a very interesting realization and it's interesting how everyone's so unique and understanding your unique differences, especially by the human design system and especially within relationships can transform your whole life, transform your relationship and then it just goes beyond that into your whole life. So I wanted to share that. It was a fantastic we were, we were speaking for over two hours yesterday and just really going through it and it was really profound. There was a lot of love during the call. There was a lot of expansion. There was a lot of relaxation. There was a lot of, just a lot of goodness that was coming through. So that's all from me. I hope you got something from this video. If you're interested in human design, feel free to reach out to me. If you're interested in relationships, feel free to reach out to me. I've been diving into them for a long time researching. I've got a major in psychology and I really love diving into relationships and offering support, offering guidance. And the main reason I do that is because each and every day I'm continually doing that with myself within my own relationship. So all the best on your journey and I'll see you on another video.